Okay, so now that we've added the sound, let's go over and add particle system. We're going to do particle system. Let's do jet. Right. one engine left and then for each of these we're gonna go up and set the default particle as sparks it's from start of content drag it over here too much. We'll put it down a little bit. Just up a little bit. Move forward a little bit. Like this. Let's try this out. to the other. Sparks. Over here. Over here. Up. That looks pretty good. Let's try it. There we go. Okay, so they still need a little bit of adjustment, but First of all, let's click on both of these, go down, and turn off. Where is it? It's up here, isn't it? Auto activate. There we go, under activation. That would have been easier to. Boom. Now let's go to my script and if we go down here and we pull out this axis value all the way over here, we say less than, we can actually figure out whether or not we're going forward or we aren't going forward, either going backwards or not going anywhere. That simply means that if it's less than zero. So actually, can we get less than equal? Less than equal would probably be better. Less equal. So if less than equal to zero, can I just pull that in? Oh no, I'm gonna have to go all the way back. Woe is me. Can you even see that? do is we'll actually activate engine left, activate engine right, engine right, boom, we'll go, oh, what am I doing, I need a branch. it a little bit. Get 
deactivates over here as well. Line those up. Now let's see if this works. because my execution branch is not then set up Need to set this here so if I press forward it goes forward uh, I see we're coming from this set over here and we would need to be coming from this over here This just needs to be not a less than, it needs to be less than or equal. I was wrong. Just a less. Sorry, we need to grab this over here. over here the input axis thrust is either going to be negative 1 0 or 1 now if this value is greater than 0 meaning it's 1 we are going to activate the particles right that's what we want when you're holding down W or 1 the particles actually start to emit and it looks like our jet engine is on. If it's less than zero, or excuse me, if it's not greater than zero, so it's zero or one or negative one, then we turn them off, giving us this effect. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do for the actual details to our plane. And now I'm going to move on to adding our point rings and collision with the ground and other obstacles.